More than a thousand United fans braved the bank holiday traffic to Scarborough for this basement battle, and they were determined they'd not travel home singing the blues. Fresh from victory against Torquay, it was United who started the game brighter of the two sides. David Bass coming close with this effort in the first minute. The Brunton Park side dominated the opening 20 minutes, but just couldn't find the clinical touch in front of goal. United were made to pay for their missed chances when the home side took the lead on the half hour. Former Sunderland striker Chris Tate's shot taking a deflection of Stuart Whitehead and beating Richard Knight in goal. Tate taking the ball early, turning his man and leaving Knight with no chance. Scarborough, under the new management of former Atletico Madrid coach Colin Addison, started the second half in determined fashion. But it was United's inability to convert chances into goals which proved to be their downfall. Paul Bagshaw coming close with this speculative lob. Scarborough kept up the pressure on the United defence and extended their lead on the hour when Tate got on the end of Graham Atkinson's cross to grab his second. The former Roker Park striker making no mistake with this header. The game was over as a contest two minutes later, when Tate rounded off a memorable bank holiday with a hat-trick after some fine work by Darren Roberts. The York-born striker firing past Richard Knight in the Carlisle goal to compound the Blues' day of misery. Yeah, I think we had you know, a few too many players having off days, and uh, you know, I think Scarborough really... Uh, after the first 20 minutes, which um, you know, I thought they looked very shaky, we started well. I'm surprised the way that the game's finished up, but uh, there we are. That's.